Hello and welcome to this event. As many of you know, today, the 13th of October, is the International Day for Disaster Risk Reduction. It's a UN-sponsored day and all around the world there are events happening. And this event is sponsored by the Bushfire and Natural Hazards CRC. The idea is to get so many areas that work together here today to discuss what's happening in the field, what policy changes are being considered, and really very much the direction that this area is going. It's a great opportunity to be able to host this event. Um, it's um, one of those events that sort of dropped off, I, I guess, the uh, agenda in Australia in terms of celebrating the International um, Day for Disaster uh, Reduction. And it's a great pleasure from the CRC's perspective to reinvigorate um, this event, and we intend this to be an annual event. The work that the CRC is doing is, is really focused around the resilience agenda for Australia, so building on the national strategy for disaster risk um, resilience. Um, looking at the whole aspects of physical sciences right through to social sciences. It's a uh, multidisciplinary, end-user-driven uh, research, applied research organisation. You know, the whole point of a federation is that there's strength in numbers and that's where the Commonwealth Government comes in. You know, we provide a financial safety net for the states and territories when they experience an accumulation of events that impacts on their economic sustainability. That's what our natural disaster relief and recovery arrangements are all about. But there is a real danger, I think, that we're so often preaching to the converted. You know, here we all are, sitting in a room, many of the same faces, all nodding our heads in furious agreement around the problems that we face and the broad objectives. You know, much of the transformation that we need to achieve really requires us getting outside of the emergency management space and outside of those traditional fields associated with response and recovery and gaining commitment from those other policy areas. Now, the Bushfire Natural Hazard CRC plays an incredibly important role in that regard. They connect across sectors and they force governments to think outside of their traditional um, divisions around policy development. This is what it's all about. At the end of the day, this is why we're all involved in the business that we're involved in. It's a gentleman who has unfortunately been through the Black Saturday bushfires, he's in King Lake, and he's standing at the front of what was his home or his family's home. I love the look in his eye because it's really, I think, challenging all of us involved in this business. What can you do for me? How can you help me? How can you support me? But at the same time, there's a sort of an edge to his appearance and maybe I'm reading too much into it. But my sense is there's also a grit and determination that I'm going to get on with it and I'm going to beat this thing. But I'm also looking to you guys for a bit of guidance and advice. And frankly, he doesn't care if I come from the state government where I've worked in the past, from Red Cross, from St Vincent de Paul, from you know the Bushfire Brigade. He needs some support to deal with what he's faced with right here, right now. It's pretty clear that disasters have an asymmetrical impact on females, young people and the elderly, particularly in terms of mortalities, morbidities, etc. but also in the reconstruction of livelihoods where often these groups are left to fend for themselves. So I come to the conclusion really that DRR policy for vulnerable groups needs to change significantly. Until the Bushfire CRC and now the Bushfire Natural Hazard CRC, there was no coordinated program of disaster research in Australia and especially in the social sciences. And it was not until 2009 that that policy, institutional and governance research really was explicit in that program. There's really only a handful of researchers full-time equivalents in Australia focused on disasters and on the fault lines that they and weaknesses they expose in our policy, institutional and governance system. And my first message is that there should be more. And more research collaboration in the region and not just in the usual Australian way of trying to tell people how to do things, I could think we could learn a great deal um, from the region. Disasters are really annoying. They do unexpected things. So when people say, why didn't they predict the disaster? You say, go and look at the dictionary. Dis disasters are unexpected. To learn and improve, all we have is what has happened. That's the only natural experiment we have. 
And while there's always a risk of planning to fight the last war, it is recent events that offer us the opportunity to learn about our capacities in disasters, but also in our society more generally. Disasters are tragic, but they're priceless. Researchers love them. They are data. They are our rare opportunities to learn. Such opportunities should not be wasted. Thank you. Thank you very much.